Hi guys, it's Ray. You're welcome to my Facebook page. If you're watching on Facebook, or you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, so today I would like to do a makeup tutorial called The Power of Makeup, which just shows the transformation from when someone is bare face, like the way I am right now, to when they have a full face of makeup on. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you. I'm going to do one side of my face, this one right here. I'm going to do a full face of makeup and I will leave this side blank, uh, just bare face like how it is right now. So that we, got, we are just going to show the difference. Uh, before we start, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, uh, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you click on the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, uh, you get notified and don't miss out on any of my videos. Uh, that will help my channel to grow. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you like the page and also make sure you follow it so that every time I upload a video or any kind of content, you also get notified. So let's get right into this uh, video. To begin with, I'm taking this deep brow pomade from Anastasia, uh, Beverly Hills. The, sh the shade is chocolate and I'm going to fill in my brow. I'm just going to zoom in. I'm filling in my right eyebrow, that's the part of the face, that's the side of the face that we are going to do. I'm taking an eyebrow brush and I'm going to brush through this just to make sure they are all the right place. Next I'm taking some LA Girl a Pro Concealer. This shade is, is yellow corrector and I'm going to use this to shape my brow or to conceal the, the lower parts of my eyebrow. So I'm going to take the excess concealer down to the lid. To conceal the upper parts of my eyebrow, I like to use something which is similar to my skin color. So I prefer to use a foundation and I'm going to use this Maybelline foundation. It's the same foundation that I'll use on my skin. So I'll just take a drop and put it on the same concealer brush. And then I'll just clean on the upper parts of my eyebrow. Now that our eyebrow is done, we are going to move on to eyeshadow. So I'm going to start by taking a brown color right here, it's called Spice, and I'll just apply it all over my crease. I'm using a fluffy brush. Next, I'm going to go in with this black color right here. It's called Blackest and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid. So I'm using the same fluffy brush. So I'm just going to make sure that the black color stays below the brown. And then later, I'll blend the, the two together. I'm going to use the same color angel that I applied first and blend it with a black color. So I'm going to add a bit of black again because I feel the brown has taken away from the black. Then I'm going to go back with a brown. There is a cream color right here, it's a matte. It's called Nudist. I'm going to take it on a flat brush. 
I'm just going to use this to highlight my brow bone. Next, I'm taking an eyeliner pencil and I'm going to draw a black line on my eyelid. So I'm going to draw a wing. I'm just going to draw a straight line first. Up to here. And then I'll just bring it in and connect it right here. Then I'm going to take the big short mascara from, Mayb from Maybelline. And I'm going to use this to coat my natural lashes. So I'm taking a makeup point and I'm going to wipe the fallout under my eyes. So far I've finished my eyeshadow and a bit of my eye makeup. So we can tell the difference between this eye and this eye that is just bare. So let's move on to the skin next. I'm going to start by prepping my face by applying this primer. It's from Remo London. It's a mattifying primer. Meaning if you apply it on the face and you have like very oily skin, it can help to control the shine. So I'm going to apply this on one side of the face that we are working on. So I'll just apply a bit. The importance of a primer is just to provide a nice base for the foundation. So I'm just smearing this with my hands all over. It's really thick and quite feels quite heavy on the face. So I'm only applying this on one side of the face. This also prevents the foundation from entering your pores directly. So a primer is also more for just protecting your skin against the foundation, the direct effect of the foundation. So next I'm taking this Maybelline foundation. This is the long stay wear foundation from Maybelline. My shade is called Warm Coconut. The, the number is 356. I'm going to apply this on this side of the face. So I'm using a sponge. I like to use a sponge and I'll just put this on my face. All over. So foundation actually makes the hugest difference on the face because it just covers everything, all the blemishes. So this side of my face definitely looks more smooth and more uh, just like flawless, you know, compared to this side of my face which has like a bit of you know, brush and whatever. So foundation really makes a very, very huge difference. That's why it's also important to make sure that you get uh, the right shade for your skin. This foundation looks a little bit like a too orange for me, I don't know. It's not exactly my skin color, maybe it's even a little bit darker. But I really don't mind going a shade darker because my neck is actually darker than my face. It's darker than the, it's darker than the rest of my face. So, but I think it still works for me. So the foundation looks really blended and it's also really nice to use sponges. I find them really better than a brush when you're working the foundation. I find the sponge really really nice. And this Maybelline foundation really covers very nicely. It's, it's full coverage. You can build on it. You can add as much as you want. So it's really 
nice, I like it. I'd recommend you guys to buy it, you know. And it's also quite affordable as well. You could get this for about like 80,000. I'm going to take two concealers, they're all from Colourpop. I'm going to use the light shade to highlight and then the darker shade to contour my face. on all the areas that I've highlighted on my face. <laughs> Guys, this is actually quite funny, like when I look at myself. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I'm going to take this eyeshadow palette again. It has a uh, powder right here. It's a contouring powder and I'm going to use it to contour my face. Still using this same palette, I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called um, it's called Sunset. It's a red color but it's like light red and I'm going to use it as a blush for my cheek. Same palette again. I'm going to take uh, this color right here. It's actually a shimmer and a highlight. It's called Moonlight, and I'm going to use it to highlight my cheeks. Next, I'm going to finish my lower eye makeup off camera. We are moving on to lipstick as we finalize this look. I'm going to take a red, it's a maroon lip pencil. Next, I'm going to take a red a liquid matte lipstick from MAC. This shade is Feels So Grand and I'm going to apply it on parts of my lip. version of yourself it's just play it's fun it's not that serious I never take makeup seriously it's just a fun thing you just take it off before you go to bed so uh, this is our final look I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I've enjoyed making it because it was just so funny and hilarious so this is my uh, my look uh, my entire face bit uh, with makeup and I mean like let's compare this and this you know so this is the effect of makeup you know this is what makeup does just makes you look fine you know fine fine that is the word i think so i uh, thank you for watching this tutorial if you've reached the end thank you so much uh, for watching it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you've liked it make sure you share your thoughts 
make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and also make sure you like and follow my facebook page and i'll see you on my next video bye